everyone, my name is Amber. Welcome back to my channel. This is my review of Better Together by Christine Riccio. This is the second book by Christine Riccio that I have read and haven't enjoyed. So I think it's definitely time to give this author a break. Full disclosure, I don't follow Christine on YouTube. I haven't done for probably the past 10 years and so I have no connection to her whatsoever in case that affects how you feel about this review. So I gave Better Together two stars. I'm going to do my review how I usually do them. I'm going to talk about the synopsis very briefly without giving too much away and then I'm going to get into my thoughts and feelings about the book. As always my review will be spoiler free and let's get into it. So Better Together is best described as the parent trap but with older siblings. The first sibling is called Jamie. She is a wannabe stand-up comedian and she's kind of pursuing that as her career. Seriously, is the younger one I think and she is a aspiring ballerina except she has hurt her foot. All of her ballerina type dreams have kind of gone out the window so she's trying to rediscover herself. The two of them go to this wellness retreat. Previously they don't know about each other or one kind of does but they're not certainly not expecting to see each other there and that's where it kind of turns into the parent trap kind of thing. The two get to know one another and then they come up with a plan to trick their parents because for some reason their parents have separated them. That's all I really want to say about the plot. There's not really much else to it to be honest so I don't really feel like you need to know more. In terms of the plot because I guess that's what we were just talking about I found this to be heavily inspired by the parent trap which is fine it's a favourite trope of mine is twin switching places it's something that I've discovered about myself that I really enjoy those kinds of bits but because it was so heavily inspired by the parent trap I think that I was expecting it to go one way when it actually went another. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because you don't want a predictable book, but this book wasn't necessarily unpredictable. It just kind of shot out in a direction that I wasn't really expecting and that's not necessarily a good thing either, if that makes any sense. As for the characters, which I'm just going to touch upon very briefly in this kind of like section of the review. I didn't really feel connected to them at all. I didn't really like Riccio's previous main character and in this one I didn't really care for both of them, either of them. I felt like each of them had this specific thing that was meant to make them stand out in terms of their personalities and their characters because one was a ballerina, one wanted to be a stand-up comedian. That was kind of it. They didn't really feel very well fleshed out aside from that. Like they each had a goal and they each had motives and passion but it was just one and it didn't really feel very natural. It felt more like the author was perhaps working with character cards. You know how in NaNoWriMo, you might not know, but in NaNoWriMo sometimes it's recommended that you get the character sheets together before you start writing so that you understand your characters a bit better and some people post questionnaires and you can fill the questionnaires in on behalf of your character and it kind of feels like she did that in the there was kind of like the appearance section where she fills out what they look like, what colour their hair and eyes are. And then the hobbies section and she only had one thing there. Of course I can't say if that's what she actually did but that's how it felt to me. And then I guess the main bulk of this review is going to be about the writing style because this is something that I had a problem with in Again But Better in that it's not very good. <laughs> but with Again But Better I thought that that was her debut book. She's obviously been practicing since then and I have to say Better Together is better than again but better. I feel like I could have phrased that differently in terms of the writing style because I feel like she, you can tell that she's a more practiced author now. Sentences are less clunky, things are a bit less awkward and it just flows a bit better but at the same time, like I said with the character development, it feels like she's kind of just ticking things off a list. And then also she just kind of waffled on like a lot. It took forever for the plot to get going for one thing because she just waffled on and on about these characters and what they were currently doing, like not necessarily their backstories or their relationships with other people but just what they were currently up to. I didn't care if a character was currently brushing their hair or just got back from a doctor's appointment that was not relevant to the plot. I wanted it to hurry up and get to the retreat and for them to hurry up and meet each other so the plot could get going because you know that's going to happen, you know that they're going to meet each other and that's where everything's going to kick off so I was just waiting for that and I feel like she might have started the story a little bit too early and then gone into way too much detail about unimportant things. I feel like the beginning could have been a lot more fast paced. And then there's also the issue with Siri and I think it was Siri, it might have been Jamie but I'm very sh fairly sure it was Siri and her dialogue, instead of swearing, which she was against for some reason, that's fine, she would say excrement instead of shit, which is awkward. And then she would also say intercourse instead of fuck. So there were sentences like, are you intercourse and kidding me? It just felt clunky. Like I feel like she tried to be quirky and I know that Brandon Sanderson, for example, and a lot of other fantasy writers make up swear words because they don't want to use 
modern English swear words and they sort of tie it into their world building but this first of all it's not a fantasy book secondly they weren't good choices like excrement and intercourse like those aren't easy words to say when you're in a huff or you need to like belt it out I don't think they really worked well as swear words I thought it was a bit silly and again I feel like she was trying to make her character quirky but not really managing it on the plus side the characters clearly aren't self inserts so that's a plus it's already a step up from again but better also I'm not really a fan of how the author handled mental illness in with Siri. I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but she spent a lot of the first half of the book and also a lot of her childhood that you don't get to see thinking that Jamie was actually an imaginary friend because her parent had kind of been brainwashing her. I wasn't entirely comfortable with how it was represented. This is just a personal opinion, but it felt more like it was being represented in like a quirky, funny, amusing way rather than like actual child abuse, ghosting, brainwashing sort of thing. So I think a lot of people feel differently about that, but that's just my opinion. I have to admit that towards the end, I did start to read a little bit faster and to take less in just because I wasn't really enjoying the book by that point. I was about 60% of the way through and she was still waffling on and not really getting to the point. So I just wanted to quickly go through it and get to the end where apparently all the good stuff was going to happen. But yeah, I wasn't enjoying the book. I was intrigued by the concept at the start and for the first 20% of the book, I would say I was enjoying myself because I was looking forward to reading more of it and discovering more of the twins meeting one another and their stories. Probably by the halfway point, I had just kind of given up because it wasn't developing very well and the author was, I think, focusing on the wrong things. So overall, I didn't really enjoy this book, as you may have gathered. I think it definitely could have benefited from a tighter plot, some tighter writing, tighter editing, just being like more well put together in general and less of the kind of meandering and flowing about because it just it wasn't focused enough for me so i'm not really a fan of lyrical writing and flowery writing in the first place because i find that that sometimes gets a bit like distracted from the plot while i wouldn't call this writing flowery i would say that it was definitely going overboard with the descriptions and smaller details i think it could have been a lot better with some types of storytelling so i don't think i'm going to check out whatever the author comes out with next just because this is two for two now that I haven't really enjoyed. Normally I give authors three chances to be fair so maybe I would give her next book another go but that's probably only going to be the case if I really like the idea of the plot or I like the concept because I'm not sure I can put myself through another book of hers that I don't enjoy and I feel really meh about. Let me know if you've read this book or again but better in the comments below. Tell me your thoughts and feelings. I'm open to a discussion so if you did like this book then please tell me why and we can talk about it. I can't say that I was particularly let down by this because my expectations weren't too high thankfully but I was still hoping to enjoy it at least because I thought that maybe the author had you know practiced a lot more and was getting to be a better writer but from what I can tell she hasn't yet so I don't know if I'll check out her next books and I wouldn't recommend this one. Thank you so much for watching this review. I think I covered most of the stuff that I wanted to talk about but I could definitely go into more detail if you want. It's just with reviews I try to keep them short and snappy so that I don't spoil anything for one thing but also so that you know you can blast through them. Thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye!